Okay, guys, another bonehead move by uh, yours truly, the uh, producer, director of the boiling of the brews. Uh, what's happened is we do have it now croisoning, the croisoned, and here is what we call the wart. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do the step-by-step, -step, so the next time we'll get you that part. But in here right now is malt, extract, seven pounds, a couple ounces of uh, hops, cascades, and uh, northern brew. Also what we have in here is uh, two teaspoons of gypsum. This is a gallon of water. And uh, included in that was a half a pound of uh, uh, grain one pound of crystal light grain and the other one is the other one is where I conveniently leave that bag here we go cascade hops for finishing so we'll get that part in and the crystal where's the darn crystals where's that bag with the crystals I just had it what I do with it Oh, thank you. So, this right here, the toasty, biscuity, sourdough, tangy, bright special roast malt. So that's in there. So what we're going to do, what we have left is that, putting in the cascades. We also have about three and a half gallons of cold water in our carboy, because we will pour that in to this carboy. And then, of course, with the others, we do have our fermentation process. So there's only a little bit left. This, uh, right now the time is 11.40. And uh, this thing's gonna need to boil until, Steve? About noon, 12.05. Until 12.05. So this thing is gonna be cooking for, um, how long, 35, 40 minutes? Total 45, 50 minutes. Yeah. 45 to 50 minutes. 45 to 50 minutes, we'll add the finishing hops. Then we'll pitch it into this colder water. We'll wait until it gets uh, nice and cool to the touch. And then we'll show you how to pitch the yeast. So we'll be back in a few minutes, gang. Thank you for standing by for the past six months.